Today I'm explaining a fantasy romance movie called Jade Dynasty, released in 2019. Take your seats, the film is about to begin. The movie starts and we see some kung fu warriors flying in the air. The name of the place was Kim Yoon. The place had many kung fu schools, and all children were students of a kung fu school. Here we see Zhang. He is also a student of a kung fu school. Zhang was very weak. He was not as powerful as his seniors. But Zhang was very pure-hearted. That was why his seniors used to like him. Also, Zhang used to cook for them. There was a girl named Tian. She was the daughter of his master. Zhang used to like her, but Tian considers him his brother and takes care of him. At the dinner table, everyone was talking to Zhang as 10 years had elapsed and Zhang has not become a good kung fu warrior. Ti Yan always helped Zhang during his training. She used to tell him that he must concentrate on bringing out all his energy. But Zhang couldn't focus at all because he used to get distracted by Ti Yan's beauty. Meanwhile, Zhang remembered that his parents were killed on the same day 10 years ago. After listening to that, Ti Yan took Zhang to her village. Zhang told her that when he and his friends went to this 10 years ago, he saw a circle of lightning near his village. Zhang's father, the master of Kung Fu, was fighting with a demon, and the demon was wearing a mask. His father had almost beaten the demon. At last, the demon attacked him with his thunder war, and everything got destroyed. Then he told her that, when he and his friend woke up the next day, everyone in the village was dead, including his parents. Zhang had made a promise to himself that he would take revenge for his parents. He requested the master to make him his student so that he can take revenge for his parents. Since then, Zhang has been in Tian's school. Then he told her that 10 years had passed. Still, he did not know who was responsible for killing villagers. Then we see the school where all Kung Fu masters gathered. There was a lady master who only takes girls under her mentorship. There, all of them were talking about the Kung Fu contest in which students from all schools were taking part. Then, a lady master said that her student Shoi would also participate in the competition, and no one could stop her from winning. At night, all students went to see Shoi's training. She was gorgeous. Because of too many people, Zhang somehow fell in front of Shoi. There, Shoi put some insects that cause itching on Zhang's body. At night, Ti Yan applied oil on Zhang's body, due to which the itching became less intense. The oil was hard to get, but somehow Ti Yan had managed that for him. Now Jiang started believing that Tian also likes him. The next day, Zhang went near the lake and shouted someone's name. From the lake appeared a dragon. Zhang went to come to meet the dragon, and he used to bring a lot of food for him. Zhang told the dragon that he likes Tian and would tell her everything. In the next scene, we see that Tian gave Zhang her father's kung fu books because she wanted Zhang to become a good kung fu warrior before the contest. After that, Zhang was doing his training. Meanwhile, the locket that Zhang had started shining. His father had given him that stone and said it is very powerful. But that stone can also take you under his control. That is why you have to throw this stone in a deep valley. Zhang had had that stone since then. Now Zhang has decided to throw the stone away. As he was about to do that, a monkey started irritating Zhang. The monkey started chasing Zhang and he pushed Zhang to get the stone from him. As a result, Zhang fell into a deep lake. Zhang was drowning, but the stone brought him out of the water. As Zhang came out of the water again, the monkey tried to get the stone from Zhang. Amid all this, the monkey bit Zhang's hand. His hand started bleeding. The stone started absorbing the blood that was coming out of his hand. Then a stick came out of the bottom of the lake. Zhang's stone merged with the stick. As a result, a very powerful stick came into existence. People used to call it a blood-sucking bead. All masters were watching the incident from far off. They were speculating if the blood-sucking bead had appeared again. Ghost King will definitely come to take this. On the other hand, we see the Ghost King and other demons. Ghost King sent one of his companions to take that stick. The magical stick came to Zhang. He used it to save the monkey from getting into the bog. Then the monkey stopped bothering Zhang. Then an unknown girl tried attacking Zhang to steal the stick. Meanwhile, Shoi and Tian came there to save Zhang. The girl ran away from the place. Then Zhang noticed that the hand on which the monkey had bitten him is now completely fine. It implies that the magical stick has a healing power, but he did not tell anyone about the magical stick. The next day, when Zhang was sleeping, that unknown girl came again and tried stealing the stick. As she ran away with the stick, it brought her back to Zhang. It felt like the stick had a connection with Zhang, 
Meanwhile, the sun rose and the girls ran away before Zhang woke up. Then, his masters told Zhang that he would also compete in kung fu competition. Zhang became very happy after listening to that. Then, Zhang's friend came there who had brought some of the news related to the competition. Here we come to know that Ti Yan used to like Zhang's friend. When Zhang saw his friend and Ti Yan together, he became very upset. His heart broke seeing that. He saw some people coming towards him. Those people were actually running after that unknown girl. Zhang also started running, and they hid in the mountains. Amid all that, the girl again tried stealing the stick, but it made her unconscious. In the afternoon, Zhang was preparing food for the girl, and she was planning to kill Zhang. As she had a chat with Zhang, she gave up on her plan of killing him. Both of them became good friends. Then, she did not kill him. The next day, competition started, and all people gathered immediately. The masters announced that 63 students would be selected from them with the help of balls. The person having the number one ball would go directly into round two. All kung fu warriors started flying to catch balls. Zhang could not fly. Meanwhile, he saw a ball on the ground. Before he could have picked the ball, Shoi replaced the ball with her ball. Then Zhang came to know that he had ball number one. Now he didn't have to fight in the first round of the competition. Then Zhang asked Shoi, why did she give him her number one ball? She replied that she wanted to go into the second round after fighting the first one, not by the stroke of luck. Then the first round started and half the students got eliminated. Then Shoi was trying very hard to win the competition and her body started getting injured. Her master asked her not to participate in round two, but Shoi did not listen to her. Then her master gave her medicine and she got healed quickly. In round two, Zhang had also fought, but his stick made the opponent unconscious and Zhang won the fight. At night, Zhang came to know that no one had qualified for the next round from their school except him and Ti Yan. They were all very happy for Zhang. The next day, the competition started again. Here, Zhang had to face his friend and Shoi faced Ti Yan as her opponent. Zhang had a good fight with his friend. Ultimately, Zhang beat his friend. He thought that Zhang had hidden his magical powers. Zhang wasn't a weak opponent at all. Zhang also started feeling bad for his friend, as he was winning just because of the stick until then. Then, he threw away the stick. On the other hand, Shoi beat Ti Yan in the fight. Now, Zhang's master also scolded him for not telling anyone about his powers. Then, Zhang's monkey took him near the lake where Shoi was lying unconscious. She was wounded because of very heavy training. Zhang gave Shoi medicine, and she got well after taking that. Then, Shoi started liking Zhang. There was a fight scheduled between those two the very next day. Still, Zhang had come to save her. The next day, Zhang's master told Zhang that you had come very far in the competition. This is a big thing for our school. If we win or lose, it won't matter. We only want that Zhang must not get hurt during the fight. Then, Zhang's and Shoi's fight gets started. Zhang had become very weak without his stick. He got injured very badly, but he wasn't ready to give up. Then, Shoi again attacked him, but his stick came back to him. As Zhang was injured very badly, he started getting healed upon the return of the stick. Now, he was beating Shoi. Masters also recognized that the stick was a blood-sucking bead. Zhang had almost won the fight, but he did not want to injure Shoi. Hence, he intentionally lost the fight. On the other hand, we see the unknown girl, who failed badly to steal the magical stick. Then, Ghost King sent all the demons on the earth. First, we see the puppet demon. It killed all the companions of a kung fu warrior after taking control of him. Then, we see the second demon that absorbs everyone in himself. Then, some other demons started beating students. The masters learned that Zhang was using evil kung fu. He must be killed, as it was against the rules and dangerous. Then, Zhang's friend told the Ghost King's demon had attacked everyone. Then, everyone left the place after imprisoning Zhang. Afterward, the unknown girl made everyone sleep with her magic and took Zhang with her to her father, the Ghost King. Then, the Ghost King snatched the stick from Zhang, but it had Zhang's blood in it. Therefore, again it went back to him. Then, Ghost King was about to kill Zhang. Meanwhile, his daughter tried to stop him, but he made his daughter unconscious. Now, Ghost King and Zhang fought. To save Zhang, all masters and students came. All kung fu warriors attacked the Ghost King, but he killed everyone. On the other hand, Ti Yan and Shui were fighting that girl. But Zhang tried to save that girl, but she got injured. After that, all masters attacked the Ghost King with their thunder wars. Then Zhang remembered that similar lightning was in the sky when his parents and villagers died 10 years ago. Then he beat the Ghost King with the help of all masters. 
The Ghost King said to him, before leaving, that Zhang has an evil weapon that will kill all of you because it has control over Zhang. Then all masters attacked Zhang, but he beat them. Now Zhang has become fully evil after getting controlled by the stick. Now Zhang had come to know that someone from these masters had killed his parents, who had come to the village to take the blood-sucking bead. He went to kill his own master, but Ti Yan came in between. Ti Yan tried to bring him back, and Zhang returned to normal after listening to her. Then he went to Shui and requested her to kill him. Lady Master ordered Shui, and she attacked him. But his senior master came in front of him and saved his life. The master lost his life. At last, Shui did not kill him and asked him to go to some far-off place. Then Zhang took the ghost's daughter, who had come to take the stick from Zhang with him, and left the place. The movie ends here.